person that you want to be just to have just through these two games how far what do you feel is the biggest progression for the people um starting to understand how offenses are attacking us right you know we go against uh, coach smith's uh, offense all training camp and stuff and you know some guys played a preseason some guys didn't and so everybody all 11 are now on the field and you know as well as the backup so we're all trying to get a feel of how you know offenses are trying to attack us and they might be from a scheme point and it might be from weaknesses that we showed in the previous week so we, get, we just got to know how offenses are going to attack our defense yeah, you said Stop the run in general, right? Uh, if you can't stop the run, it's going to be a long four quarters in whatever game, whoever you play. So stop the run, being where we need to be in zone defenses, and uh, having good eyes and man coverage. And, and the, the defensive back group close up, y'all really close relationship? Yeah. yeah. Would it, y'all hang out outside, or where, where are some of the, do y'all do anything together? I mean, we, 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 we catch up outside of this. I'm not going to tell y'all where, <laughs> and everybody going to be there, but yeah, we catch up outside of this. <laughs> and so does that relationship make it easier you to have conversations with these guys when things go wrong or to move forward from these all does that make it easier because you have a relationship? Yeah, I, I mean it makes it easier but whether we hung out or not I think we have a good group to where we uh, we could tell each other hey we gotta do this or tighten up on defense but then I think the thing that's most important when we hang out outside of this is I get to see their kids running around I get to meet their significant others so for me it's an accountability thing you know I don't want to let him down because you know I can see his kids you know, beside him. I can see his wife or his girlfriend, wh whoever they may be. I got to answer to that as well. So for me, as being a leader and just being a guy that cares, I don't want to let that down. Eric, what problems do the Giants present with, you know, Barkley coming back and we've got the wide outs and we've got the running quarterback? Yeah, um, they got they got skilled guys. You know, obviously they drafted a first rounder. They went out and got a, got a free agent receiver. They had receivers there in the past. They got, you know, a, a veteran a tight end everywhere so you just gotta play team ball. How does the system compare to the ones you've been in previously? It's it's multiple. Uh, multiple you gotta know you gotta know the whole defense, right? Um, corners, safeties gotta know everybody's role. We gotta learn linebacker roles etc. So uh, DNs we're dropping DNs and stuff like that. So really just gotta you gotta know the whole defense inside and out how, to understand how teams are gonna attack the defense. How, as a group how far down that road do you think y'all are at this point? How far down the road? I think we're improving each week. Um, I think we're improving each week, and uh, we're correcting the things we need to correct each and every week. And so um, our goal is for those mistakes not to keep showing up each week. Um, obviously, no game is perfect, but our goal is to correct the uh, mistakes from week week one to week two, going into week three, and then going into week four from week three. Their quarterback is not a guy who came into the league looking like he thought he was an athletic guy. Do you have to remind yourself that he can hurt you run game? I mean, Keep telling yourself that. And come I think the, I think the film reminds us that, of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the film reminds us of that. He 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 uh, he got some wheels. He got some wheels, and he can make plays with his legs. And uh, he has he has arm strength to throw downfield as well. How big was it to get that sack strip for that whole unit? Like, okay, we've been trying to get some of this stuff. Here. Yeah, just believing in the pressure, man. And it, it, I always try to encourage the guys up front. You know, whenever you're on a good defense, it starts with those guys up front. You know, they apply the pressure, they stop the run, everything else kind of flows after that. So, you know, those guys have been doing great up front and uh, continue to grow each week. You talk about running quarterbacks, but today you see like Matt Ryan was the top of being a running quarterback. Even though you can't obviously hit him in practice and do different things, how would you just describe Matt Ryan as a runner? Matt, Matt Ryan as a runner? <laughs> Matt's fast, you gotta protect him, you know? He's the guy you want to keep in the pocket, gets outside the pocket, you know, he can make some, <laughs> some things happen. And of course, uh, you got against the Giants team, um, you talked about the quarterback, but also what about the Giants offense that stands out for you that maybe a lot of other teams or just people don't realize? Um, sit down one time. What about the Giants offense mm -hmm. stands out that maybe other people do not see? Um, I think some close games but they got pieces over there you know um, I don't think I don't think in this league you can look at anybody's record and just say oh they're this is their record and it's going to be a walk in the park it's the NFL it usually comes down to the two the last last two minutes of each each game
game. So um, they got pieces over there, and uh, they got a good staff over there. And uh, you can see the difference in the past few years of those guys, you know, the, the culture being built over there. What's it like to prepare for a guy, not only in the game, but like that like yeah, no, he can hurt you anyway. You know, screens, running the ball, catching the ball out of the backfield. He's a he's a very, very talented back, very talented back. Yeah, you got you got to wrap this guy up. He's not he's gonna run through arm tackles and stuff like that. So come to balance on him, and uh, you know just keep, keep him in front of you. Yeah, following up, uh, yeah. Matt, you were saying Matt was saying earlier that he he uh, he ran a triple option in high school and yeah. you know, just two yards and no big no biggie. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's being called Matt Vick on Twitter and Matty Wills. Is that something that you've seen? Like, that's, that's your assessment of him as well? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would say so, you know. Two yards and in, he's, he's, he's money. <laughs> he's money. Let's talk, talk more about his bird, I guess, than his, his wheels. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Appreciate Aaron. it, guys. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.